Hi class 6, welcome to DPSJ. Today is 23rd April and I am going to teach you today um, the first chapter of history. I have already taught you this chapter and I told in my previous class that you have to solve the fill in the blanks, match the following, choose the correct answer and true false. And I told that today I am going to discuss the answers with you. Okay. So all of you please look at your book and I think all of you have solved the answers. So please check whether the answers are correct or not. I am telling the answers. First I am going to tell you the exercise A. Fill in the blanks. Okay. The rivers, two rivers associated with the Mesopotamian civilization were the dash and the dash. So the answer is Tigris and Euphrates. Okay. So what is the answer? T-I-G-R-I-S. Tigris and the Euphrates. E-U-P-H-R-A-T-E-S. Euphrates. Now the second question. The three major civilizations that rose and fell in the Mesopotamian Valley were number one, Sumerian. S-U-M-E-R-I-A-N. Sumerian. Number uh, The second answer is Babylonian. B-A-B-Y-L-O-N-I-A-N. Then the third one is A-S-S-Y-R-I-A-N. Assyrian. These are the three civilizations that rose and fell in the Mesopotamian valley. Then the third answer that is Mesopotamia is called the dash and dash of many civilization. Mesopotamia is called the cradle and grave. C-R-A-D-L-E. Cradle and G-R-A-V-E. Grave. Then number four. To ensure steady supply of water throughout the year, the Mesopotamians built an dash. Built an irrigation system. I double R I G A T I O N irrigation S Y S T E M system and number five the Mesopotamians also built dash to control floods they built dikes D Y K E S now match the following all of you please look what are the answers number one civilization answer is number D that is advanced system of social development again I am repeating. Number one civilization is number D, advanced system of social development. Then number two, Sumerian civilization. Sumerian civilization answer is number E, that is world's first civilization. Number three, ziggurat. Ziggurat number three answer is number B, that is temple tower. Number four, that is hanging gardens of Babylon. Number four answer is Number A, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. And number five is king. King answer is number C, that is representation of God on earth. Is it clear? Then uh, number C, choose the correct answer. So number one, dams, canals or temple towers were found in the sacred area of the city of four. The answer is temple tower. Okay. Number two, the main occupation of the Mesopotamians was agriculture, trade or art and craft. The answer is agriculture. The Mesopotamians kept a record of business accounts on paper, clay tablets or parchment. It is clay tablets. Each Mesopotamian city had its own special god, king or priest. It is god. State whether the following are true or false. Mesopotamia is called the cradle and grave of many civilizations. It is true or false? It is true. So the first one, the answer is true. Nomadic tribes from outside poured into the Mesopotamian valley for many centuries. This answer is also true. So number D, number 1 is true. Number 2 is true. true. And number 3, Mesopotamian girls were sent to school to learn to read and write. Number three is false. Number four, the Mesopotamians had trade relations with people in the Indus Valley. It is true. Number five, the king was regarded as the representative of God on earth. Number five is true. Again, I am repeating. Number D, one is true. Two is true. Three, false. Four is true. And five is true. Okay. Now, I am discussing your, with you the Short answers, which is question number E. Answer the following questions in one or two words. What is the meaning of the word Mesopotamia? Please open 
page number, the first page, you will get the meaning of the Mesopotamia. I have marked the answer in the book. So please look here. Page number 9. Mesopotamia which in Greek means the land between two rivers. This is the answer. Okay. Page number 9 under the Mesopotamian civilization location and origin. Mesopotamia which in Greek means the land between two rivers. This is the first answer. Okay. Then. What were the greatest contribution of the Mesopotamians in the field of architecture? So, what were the greatest contributions of the Mesopotamians in the field of architecture? That first you open the architecture part and there you will get what were the contributions. So, in, sh in the answer you have to write in one or two sentences or two, one or two words. So, here you did not make long answers only short you have to write it in your copy history copy take out page number 10 the second one answer is here architecture forms such as arches columns domes and walls in the construction of buildings these are the greatest contributions okay in the field of architecture so you have to write that in the field of architecture the greatest contributions are arches columns domes and walls in the construction of buildings okay then question number three, what did the Mesopotamians invent to increase the agricultural yield? So what did the Mesopotamians invent? So you have to take out where the occupation is there, agriculture. Page number 11, okay. Page number 11, see what they have introduced to increase the yield. E3 answer is to increase agricultural yield. They invented the ox drawn plow. So the answer is to increase agricultural yield. They invented the ox drawn plow up to this. Okay. Then question number four. Name any two crops cultivated by Mesopotamians. Many crops are there. You may write wheat and barley. Okay. Name any two crops cultivated by Mesopotamians. Mesopotamians cultivated wheat, barley and also if you like you can write any other two. That is pulses is also there, fruits is also there. Okay. Then. Then number question number five. What important specialized skills do the Mesopotamians have? So what important specialized skills? You can uh, write it from the art and craft uh, portion. What specialized skills they learn? Page number 12. Okay. See the page number 12. See here specialized skills such as pottery, weaving and metal work. Okay. So what other skills, specialized skills the Mesopotamians learn? They learn pottery, weaving and metal work. Okay. Then question number 6. Question number 6. How do we know that the Mesopotamians had trade links with the people of the Indus Valley? How do we know the Mesopotamians had trade links with the people of Indus Valley? This also you have to uh, take out from page number, uh, page number 12. That is under the trade. You see the answer is given under the trade. Here. A flourishing foreign trade. Uh, this is E6. Okay. Sills found in the Indus Valley sites shows that the Mesopotamians also had trade relations with India. So the answer is this one. Okay, seals is found in the Indus Valley sites. So Mesopotamians also had relations with India. And here now the last question that is 7. How do we know that Mesopotamians believed in life after death? This you will get it from the religion portion. Page number 12. Religion. Mesopotamians may have believed life after death. How we can know that? We, because uh, in some graves, drinking vessels, ornaments, weapons, etc. have been found in some graves. Okay. So the last answer is this one. So students, uh, you have got the uh, all the short questions. Uh, no, short questions answers from here and I've explained you and uh, if you have any doubt then in my next class I can uh, explain you again and you can also ask me in the comment box okay 
and the brief question answers I shall discuss with you in my next class. Thank you.